Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see the most frequently asked interview questions at LNT Infotech. So this video is all about LNT Automation Testing interview questions and answers. So the very first question is what is the difference between XPath and CSS? Which one is better? Okay, so both XPath and CSS, as we all know, they are the most frequently used locators in Selenium. Okay, now in uh, now there are various other locators also, like ID is there, name is there, class name is there, tag name is there, link text, and so on. But XPath and CSS are basically used when there are no unique attributes available to identify the elements. Now let's look at the difference between them. So as we know, XPath allows bi-directional flow, which means we can traverse from parent to child and child to parent as well. Well, CSS only allows one directional flow. The travels, traversal is from parent to child only. Again, XPath in terms of performance and speed, it is slower compared to CSS. Then XPath allows identification with the help of visible text appearing on the screen. So we have got a text function in uh, where in which you, we can use the you know locate the element using XPath while CSS does not has this feature so the feature which CSS is having is basically uh, you can uh, represent by hash followed by the ID okay so ID expression you can say over there for example the CSS expression is represented by dot followed by the class okay so XPath does not has any feature like this again there is a Syntax also is different like slash slash tag name at the rate attribute equal to value while in case of CSS the uh, double slash the for the forward slash does not exist and there are two types of XPath absolute and relative but CSS does not has any such types so this is one of the question that is asked let's move to the next question so this is a programming question write a program to swap two numbers without using third variable okay now as we all know uh, if i consider to be the logic of this program it is very basic very simple but earlier what we used to do we used to introduce a third variable which is uh, for example a temp over here so x is 10 y is 20 so i'll introduce a temp variable which will be a placeholder to transfer the values and we can uh, swap the uh, values of the two variables but over here what we have to do we don't we are not allowed to use the third variable so the logic will be different we can use the operators so what we can do is x equal to x plus y so it would make the value of x as 30 then i'll use y equal to x minus y okay so value of x in the above expression was 30 itself so 30 minus 20 it would be 10 then x equal to x minus y again okay and so the values is 20 so i can uh, so we can see that the values are swept without using third variable okay next yeah next question is can we override private or static methods in java so no we cannot override private or static methods in java okay because private methods in java are not visible itself to any other class so their scope is also limited to the class only in which they are declared so that is the answer what are data providers in test ng so again this is an important question and it has been asked to two of my subscribers so far so it would have been asked to many others as well so test ng data provider is nothing but the annotation part and it contains a single attribute which is its name itself and it is a string type in nature and I'll, I'll show you the method name as well so data providers are not declared on the top of the functions like test ng parameters but have a method of their own and uh, for example i i have used dp method over here so you can see there is a uh, in the screenshot itself now i'm trying to pass the values first value and second value to the test method of my test okay and uh, the data provider method is nothing but dp method okay and we have to import the uh, this data provider into the selenium into this uh, you know tool so that we can actually use it and the output of this program will be 
the the output will be first value as well as second value both the values will be transferred but it would be transferred into a single run itself so you can see the output of the program the first value as well as the second value okay okay now what is parallel testing and is it possible to run test parallel in selenium okay now earlier what used to happen is uh, I'll, I'll give you a very uh, small context about this so earlier it was a cross browser testing so what the automation testers used to do they used to execute the automation suit in chrome browser then in firefox then in ie and single browser but now the parallel testing is also achievable okay now parallel testing is nothing but as the name suggests it is a process of running the test case parallelly rather than one after the other so earlier we used to run in the sequential mode now it is now it can be achieved in parallel mode okay so it, it saves actually a lot of time and effort but obvious because uh, at the same time you'll get the uh, the reports the testing reports on multiple browsers okay so how how it can be achieved so there are two parts in this question what is parallel testing and how it can be done so one part is about the definition and about what actually it is and now how it can be achieved is using the uh, this tag that is parallel equal to methods itself so this methods value is assigned to the parallel attribute and we are basically doing this into the testing into this xml file okay so what would happen once this is done so whichever the test that you have written uh, let's say you have written in just a second okay okay so if you have written two tests first you have written into the you know do you have declared a uh, chrome driver and you have mentioned an object over there and you are running in the chrome driver and then you have mentioned about firefox so what would happen ultimately if this thing has been done so then we can see that both the drivers will get open together both the browsers will get open together provided they are on the correct path and uh, basically there will be an execution of on the parallel browsers level okay so this is the tags that you have to use basically in the suite name parallel testing suit and test name is parallel test over here parallel equal to methods and it can be achieved okay now string reverse program without using inbuilt function so this is also one of the java program that was asked in the lnd infotech interview so let us look at the program i have mentioned it in eclipse okay so consider i want to reverse the string of automation okay currently it is written uh, uh, this this might be one of the string you can take any string uh, during the interview so what we can do is we are not uh, supposed to use the string reverse function over here okay so without using that what i can do is i can implement this logic of uh, declaring this into the characters and then i'll uh, convert each of this string to a new character array okay now i'll i'll create a for loop basically now as we all know this is an array so the length of this uh, whole string is 10 okay we can see from 1 2 3 4 it is up to 10 but the index will start from 0 so a will have a value of index value of 0 u will have of 1 t will have of 2 and so on and so forth and up to 9 up to n the index value would be 9 okay so what i am writing in the for loop is integer i equal to cares dot length minus 1 so length is 10 10 minus 1 is 9 9 is greater than greater than 0 okay and then and then we are uh, you know this uh, using i minus minus over here okay so it will print the value of i over here so the very first value would be would be the value of n because it is the as per the count 10 minus 1 so it is as per 9th the character at the 9th index value that will be coming as n okay then the 8th one that will be o and then 7th one will be i and so on and so forth so it will print all the characters 
into into reverse order in this manner okay so currently i've taken it as an automation okay now let me take as a test value okay ts okay so these were a uh, few of the questions that were asked in uh, lnd automation testing uh, interview to a software tester basically so please uh, do like share and comment on this video please subscribe our channel also for uh, uh, you know you'll be able to know about the various testing interview questions asked at various it companies like lnd uh, amazon ibm and others so thank you so much for your time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos